Hi everyone, it's time for another food video. This is Trip inviting you to subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me if you tried this before. It's the Banquet Chicken Pot Pie. Tell me if you're familiar with Banquet or is there a better brand that I could maybe try? I've had this before, probably maybe several times in my life. In fact, I know I have. And it's very hot. I just now took it out of the oven. So I always mess this up. I always, I try to eat it too soon and then it burn my tongue. It happens nearly every time. I'll try not to let it happen this time. But I'm going to read a little bit from, from the uh, box here while I'm waiting for it to cool. I give it a minute or so. Flaky crust made from scratch. Scratch. I've always wondered about that. Scratch means uh, from nothing. It has a bunch of ingredients. I'm not going to read these to you. It is the typical scary chemical sounding names that you find in everything. So there's really no reason to talk much about that. But I always look at the first ingredient. The first ingredient, the filling is water and i'm sure that's true because there's a lot of liquid in here in fact that's one thing i don't like about about a lot of pot pies it's just too much liquid i mean what are you paying for a bunch of soup it's more like, much of it seems to be more like soup doesn't it tell me if you think this is if you think this is true all right um for food safety and quality, keep frozen, do not thaw. That sounds like a good idea. Applications vary, adjust cooking times as needed. Well, of course, food must be cooked thoroughly to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. But it says that, you, okay, yeah, uh, you, pre you preheat the oven to 400 degrees. It's so easy to make. I mean, most of you know this already. Put the put the pot pie on a, a baking sheet and slit the top crust. Well, I made some little holes in it with the end of the knife. So, just real tiny. I guess it's too late to do that now, right? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay, so then you bake it 32 to 34 minutes, and I found 34 minutes is about right. 34, 35. Remove carefully. It's hot. Let's stand for five, I think it's five minutes it says there. And make sure it's cooked thoroughly. As far as the serving size, this one pie basically. 370 calories, a lot of calories, which I'm happy to take any time at all. Has a bunch of saturated fat in it, as all these things do, cholesterol. I won't give you the percentages this time. I mean, you know it's not going to be, to be good, right? It does not have much sugar. I pay more attention to that lately. Only like uh, three grams of sugar Okay, that's about it. The only other thing I look for is calcium because I need to build my bones and potassium. It has, it has some potassium. I'm supposed to avoid that as much as I can. But we'll just set it over here for now. Okay. Shall I go ahead and try it? I always get burned, no matter what. Let you see it first, it's nice and brown around the edges and brown here very well. Maybe the thumbnail should be just the picture of it right here instead of the contents after I break it open. So. What is my phony fake social media 
YouTube thumbnail are going to be. What about one of those uh, ridiculous poses that you see a lot of people do? Like, uh, what is it like? How about that? Or I'll just do the, the, uh, the one I'm used to doing. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and dig into it. We'll try to. Close up of the crust, nice and brown. It can't be hot. Mm hmm. Fine. It's always the contents that's that's hot. It has carrots here. I try to get a better serving of it here to show you. It's pretty cheap too. It's like a dollar and a half to to two dollars, maybe even cheaper than a dollar some places. And you can see here all the you can see the filling. In fact, maybe you can see the steam coming off it. It's still pretty hot, but you can see it's a lot of liquid, which I don't like. Okay. It's not too hot. It has a typical pot pie flavor taste. At least with this particular brand. Oh look, there's a carrot. Let me show it to you. A carrot. It's like you're having to swim in the ocean to find something substantial. A lot of bread. Too much bread and too much liquid. <laughs> Thank goodness I had my water. It's still pretty hot. The, the liquid part of it is, and most of it does, it really is liquid. It's just uh, the soup and bread. I guess that's why it's so cheap. Okay, these pot pies are made for four different types of people. One, it's people who are just lazy and don't want to do any work cooking. Two is uh, people who maybe have a lot of things to get done like work and family and stuff like that. And it's easy to throw this into the to throw this into the oven. It requires like almost almost zero effort to it. And a third kind of person, I guess, is people who want to save money. Maybe maybe uh, the budget's a little tight. And it's, uh, it's pretty cheap. The fourth kind of person. Okay, I forgot whatever the fourth person was. Maybe you can tell me why you think, why you think this is a, a good menu item at home. And the name pot pie goes back several hundred years, back to England. And some of these are, you know, in restaurants. Of course, they'll be higher quality than just something you throw together like this. Now look there, I found two carrots and a, and a little um, English pea, a little green pea there. 
Oh, I think I found a piece of chicken. Look. I mean, the crust is good. Who doesn't like crust? Like bread. That was too hot. Pardon me. Pardon moi. Still very hot, but I did find some more chicken. I'd rather pay more for it and get something that was a little better and a little healthier. More vegetables, more chicken. I don't see many carrots and many, many green English peas. Hmm. So what do you think the best brand is? And what is your favorite pot pie? I made a video a year or so ago about a, another pot pie. I think it was called like Blake's garden vegetables, something like that. I remember liking it over all right. I intend to make more pot pie videos. It's been very hot here. Like I say, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. And that's true because the humidity is high here, which of course raises the heat index. Another carrot. Few more carrots, little carrot pieces. No more chicken. So, <clears throat> not very filling, um, fairly cheap, too much liquid, not enough vegetables, enough bread. I like the bread. I just wanted to have more 
more vegetables in it and more chicken. Is that too much to ask? Maybe it is. Okay. Let me know what you think. And peace out.